fine with that. I'm just. I gotta go. Thunder Junction, St. George, Utah. Happy birthday, you know, how old are you today? Seven. Seven, what? Everybody say hello That's too old. Hello. <laughs> We're at Thunder Junction. All access. All abilities. All abilities. Garden and fun park. It is small. On the train. There's families down here, so welcome, welcome aboard. All right, let's let Mike know it's time to go by saying all aboard on the count of three. Good enough, so Mike can hear. So let's say all aboard on the count of three. One, two, three. All aboard. Did you say it? <laughs> Junction Railroad Station. 
Did everyone have a good time today? Yes! yes. All right, thanks for riding the train. Please remain seated until you, uh, until, until we come to a complete stop. And please don't bump your head on the way out. Have a good day. Happy birthday, tough kid. Happy birthday, buddy. Where are we at? Thunder Junction All Abilities Park. St. George, Utah. We're still at the Thunder Junction All Abilities Park, and I'm not sure, but this pink flower looks really cool. It's like the cherry tree blooms. Cherry blossoms or something. Yeah. But off from the edge of the park, which is the entrance is over here. Sorry about the light ray. Is some kind of allotment thing going on? And they have stuff growing. We're in a zone 8B, possibly 9A. But some of those don't have plants in there and that is very disappointing. And if I had one of these, I think I would have plants in there by now. But this is really, really cool. So that's a goal, figure out what this is see if they'll give me some dirt. <laughs> Love you guys. Thanks. Still at Thunder Junction. That is gopher weed. That stuff inside of there will, uh, if it gets on your skin, it's a really bad skin irritant and poisonous. Your feet, it's a really cool plant, though. What's that? Japanese blood grass, it says. Gopher plant. It's actually poisonous, like the stuff inside of the plant. It's like a white milkweed kind really of stuff. Expensive. It's really cool. Like if it can burrow through the ground, it looks like Bugs Bunny when he uh, digs a hole. That's a furry tree. It's a windmill palm tree. Is what that one's like. I wonder if you could use that. Uh, what's it called? That. Oh, that? Yeah, like a coconut core or some kind of like moss for uh, for, garden. for garden for oh, like biological material. Oh, you probably use that to hold moisture for your seeds, yeah. This is mint. Oh, hey, Matthew, yeah. you know in the, uh, the the jungle book where he says, or prickly pear, yeah. there you, that's where he gets it off of, prickly pear cactus. Yeah. Yeah. Eagle man. I'm so, I won't it. touch it. I'm just Cadence likes cactus because they're spiky. dangerous. You should make another book. Priming one for a kid's story book. Cadence likes cactus. And cake. Over here they have different grasses. <coughs> the little sections to the, show the differences of them. I wish you could see it in person. It is thick, thick, thick. 
I wonder what the legitimacy of using that stuff as seed starter or biological material would be. Because it looks like it's wrapped in coconut core to me. But... What do we have here? That's Mexican feather grass. That stuff's really cool. It's almost like if you look at the side, you almost can't see it. It looks like one blade of grass. The edge it looks like a fan. Very cool. This is an edible garden area. some kind of sage possibly it's almost like snowy looking though what else do we have some begonias maybe i don't know That looks like sage, maybe? It smells really bizarre though. It's probably the birds from my house following me around wanting food. Japanese silver grass. So, and there's the grass area again where they're showing different kinds and how they manage the weather and test areas. I don't know, just a random place with a really beautiful garden and landscaping and community involvement. It's kiddo's seventh birthday and I thought I would uh, share some of this stuff with you guys. Share so much with us and we really want you to know that We really appreciate you. Wow, look how thick that is. And this is desert, so. Really cool. Red flower carpet rose, and this is Western red bud. That's really. I like that. Oh, they're. That's pretty. Yeah. Ceres octopus. Yeah, try Ceratops. Ceres octopus. Western red bud. Oh, well, that's definitely looks more purple than red. But. Look how thick these roses are. Dang, those are thick. Well, I'll probably have that touch it. So I could eat it. <laughs> Lots of cool plants. Autumn Joy said them. Really likes said them. Really cool. Did you have a good time? Yes. Did Kiddo you? looked really happy, huh? Yep. Did you? I did. I sure did. <laughs> Too much fun. Create yourself some mystical landscaping with that. I will, I will know everything about planting someday. Maybe not today, but soon. So, 
One last time, that's uh, Thunder, Thunder Junction, Junction All Abilities Park, St. George, Utah. Kiddo's seventh birthday. We love you guys.